What's up guys, it's Nexus Alexis here. I'm here to show you guys whether or not the Pokemon Go Team Mystic box can beat out the Shining Fates Cramorant box. And the reason we're comparing these two sets is because they're both specialty sets with roughly the same amount of cards in each set. So I thought that this would be a very good comparison. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and start off with the Pokemon Go set just because it's a new set and I just wanna open up some more packs. Here's the code cards from that box for Pokemon Go. Here's the code card for that Pokemon Go Team Mystic box where you should be able to get this Blanche Full Art. And this pin though, I love pins whenever they come out with designs that have two levels to them. On the Pokemon Center, I've even seen some where they're able to spin. So those are really, really cool. So without any further delays, let's go ahead and start cracking packs open. Set those to the side right there. Nothing much happened this past weekend. There we go for you guys. Code card right there. Not much happened over this past weekend. So I don't have much to commentate on, but I'm trying in the process to gain all my pieces for my PC that, so that I can start streaming for you guys. And I wanted to, and nothing with that first box. Onto that second pack. But yeah, I've been wanting to start streaming for a while. I just never actually pulled a trigger because I have, I've always been a console gamer. So I have no idea like what PC pieces I will need in order to be able to even start streaming and to buy a completely already constructed PC. It's already like, I see like the bare minimum for a streaming PC is like, I thought Radiant Charizard, let's go! So this is the second time that I'm opening up Pokemon Go and I can't believe like what, within my 22nd pack, I have a Radiant Charizard. One of the two biggest hits in this set. Absolutely incredible. Let's see what we got for a rare and nothing, just a Lapras. There's also no visible blemishes on this Charizard like whatsoever, no print lines whatsoever. It is slightly off center to leaning to the left and the bottom but it's an absolutely amazing condition all right i guess we can just continue with the unboxing that is absolutely incredible with the unboxing literally in my 22nd pack i managed to pull a radiant charizard these past sets of sword and shield have been treating me so so kindly i am so happy that i'm at the tail end of the sword and shield set or era i should say Ooh, and a mel metal v all right opening up the third pack gold card for you guys again throughout sword and shield all of the packs before i would say brilliant stars those sets have very rarely actually given me hits i've always gotten the, like the v cards which again aren't that valuable but damn and i'm still not getting any ditto cards either Ooh, and a full art professor's research let's go dude if you guys can pick up the team mystic box because uh so far uh half of the packs in there i've gotten hits out of so that would definitely be a product that i would recommend you guys pick up don't pick up the executor v box don't pick up the well rather i would say pick up the radiant ev collection just because that does have um, a playmat a pin in it so those still do provide some hits in them but so far the team mystic box has been treating me extremely well Ooh, and a blast so reverse hollow and a sylveon nothing big there and now on to the last pack last pack of the team mystic box but like how i was saying that uh i've been wanting to get into streaming i'm recently buying some pieces for the pc and it's getting pretty expensive for that and nothing all right after that amazing unbox of the team mystic collection box we're gonna go straight ahead into the cramorant shining fates box and of course you guys get the shining full art along with its jumbo version here's the code card for you guys for that and since this shining fates box only has five packs compared to the team mystic box that had six i am going to add one pack from a shining fates etb box to even out the odds so without further delay let's go into the shining fates unboxing but like how i was saying about building my pc i already bought a couple pieces for it i've been selling stuff on ebay because that's what i do on the side besides my main job which is mostly construction a window and door installation and I've been selling stuff on eBay like to flip and I've been using that money to buy the pieces of my PC and I'm gonna be putting oh and a baby shiny the Dene all right let's see what we got for a rare all right into the second pack wow these packs are not opening well for me like at all oh my god I actually had to completely destroy this all right well code card for you guys but yeah so far I've collected a good amount of pieces for it uh, but I still need to spend like additional probably like another another like 
400 to like 600 dollars worth of pieces to in order to build out that pc and have my entire setup be able to stream properly for you guys all right let's see what we got for a rare and nothing this is our third pack in to shining fate there we go what i noticed is that in order to break into pc like pc gaming it's such a high level of dollar amount of entry but it's also like a know-how on a building out your own PC because you can't just buy random computer parts and start shoving them together and expect everything to work because everything needs to be compatible. And that's where being able to like know like what pieces work together is where the border of entry is much higher compared to just console gaming where you just have your console already built and you're able to game and play. So yeah, I've always been a console gamer and I've been wanting to start streaming gameplay and and once I get my cam another second camera, I'll be able to stream pack openings as well. But yeah, I've been talking to my friends, seeing which ones that I'm going to be playing with regular. And for right, let's go. <laughs> All right. So let's see what we got for our actual rare and nothing. But that's a pretty good hit right there. All right. Now we're on to our last pack of Shining Fates. We only got two hits from the Shining Fates Cramorant box compared to the three hits from the Pokemon Go Team Mystic box. So hopefully with this last pack, we have some real magic coming code card for you guys and one reason why i was comparing these two sets was because they are very similar with the number of cards that they have in their sets as you can see here at the bottom of elden goss it has number 72 if you guys can tell right there and let's look at the bottom of this radiant charizard if you can see that 78 so the total number of individual cards is very very close and so that's why i thought that it would be pretty similar with their hit ratio not similar with the hit ratio it would be a very good comparison in terms of specialty sets come on come on get a hit all right let's go and we actually did we got a crammer at v max all right so after all of the unboxing even though the crammer and shining fates box technically had more hits that extra holographic decidui the pokemon go team mystic collection box absolutely blew shining fates out of the water with that radiant charizard pull and like i said before for some reason ever since brilliant stars i've been getting blessed with so many hits with these recent sets it might have something to do with sword and shield coming to an end so pokemon is kind of pulling out all the stops kind of how they did with cosmic eclipse and sun and moon but either way i would say definitely go ahead and pick up that pokemon go team mystic box you'll get your fair share of hits from it but as always guys hit that subscribe button if you guys want to see more content from me can you hit the like button for me with that radiant charizard pull and click on this video where i just did my first unboxing of pokemon go where i compared the radiant eevee collection box to the mewtwo etb but as always train on gamers